When it comes to bungee cords, there are so many different options. Fortunately, we have a bunch of different brands we're gonna test, so let's get the testing underway and see which brand is the best. We'll compare bungee cord strength in the first test. Then we'll see how much strength they have after nine months of UV exposure. At a price of $15 for 30 bungee cords, or 50 cents each is this Horsdy brand. ABS coated hooks prevent your car from being scratched. The Horsdy has quite a few options for bungee cord lathe, but we'll be testing the 24 inch bungee cords. And the Horsdy weighs 74 grams. In the first test, let's compare the bungee cord strength at various lengths. I'll anchor the scale on the light bolt so that the hook aligns at 6, 12, 18, and 24 inches of bungee cord stretch. And the Horsdy is at 3.6 pounds of force at 6 inches of stretch, 5.8 pounds at 12 inches, and it's 9 pounds at 18 inches of stretch. And the Horsdy seems overstretched at 24 inches and it's at 21.8 pounds. At a price of 20 bungee cords for $10 or 50 cents each is this HyperTuff brand which is sold at Walmart. Includes coated steel hooks. It claims to be ideal for securing loads. 70 grams for the HyperTuff. At 6 inches of stretch, the HyperTuff has more tension than the Horsdy at 4.2 pounds. And the HyperTuff is at 6.8 pounds at a foot and 18.2 pounds at 18 inches. And there's no way I'm going to make it to 24 inches without breaking the HyperTuff. At a price of $15 for 24 bungee cords or 63 cents each is this Cartman brand. It includes ABS coated hooks. Anti-UV polymer cord jacket for extended outdoor use. The Cartman weighs 70 grams. And the Cartman is performing better than than the Horsdy and the HyperTuff at 8.8 pounds at 6 inches of stretch. And it's 13 pounds at 12 inches and 17.8 pounds at 18 inches. And the Cartman is the best yet at 27.2 pounds at 2 feet. At a price of $14 for 20 straps or 70 cents each is this Hallmaster brand which is sold at Harbor Freight. Most of the tie downs we'll be testing are 24 inches, but the Harbor Freight Hallmasters are 21. And the Hallmaster weighs 92 grams. And the Harbor Freight Hallmaster is the first EPDM cord, and it's the strongest at 32.6 pounds at 6 inches of stretch. And it's at 40.8 pounds at 12 inches. The Hallmaster's making me nervous, and I'll use a chain hoist to avoid taking one in the chin. 68.8 pounds and is dropping fast at 18 inches. 79 pounds and dropping fast at 24 inches, and the Hallmaster is definitely overstretched. At a price of $10 for 12 cords or 83 cents each is a stalwart brand. The stalwart cord is 24 inches in length. It claims to be long-lasting virgin rubber. 74 grams for the stalwart. And a stalwart is at 4.4 pounds at 6 inches and it's at 6 pounds at 12 inches. 8 pounds at 18 inches and 11.2 pounds at 24. So the stalwart offers a lot of stretch at low strength. At a price of $26 for 28 cords or 93 cents each is this Rhino USA. 185 pound maximum brake strength. It claims to be UV resistant. It claims to offer military grade elastic shock cord. And the Rhino USA weighs 74 grams. The Rhino USA is about the same as the Cartman at 8.2 pounds at 6 inches. And it's 11.4 pounds at 12 inches and 16 pounds at 18. And the Rhino USA is overstretched at 31.4 pounds pounds at two feet. At a price of $28 for 20 straps or $1.40 each is this X-Strap brand. It claims to be heavy duty and long lasting. 21 inches in length, and it's 114 grams for the X-Strap. And the X-Strap is a second EPDM bungee cord strap and is at 13.8 at 6 inches compared to 32.6 for the Harbor Freight Hallmaster. The X-Strap is at 21.2 pounds at a foot, 28.4 pounds at 18 inches, and 40 pounds at 2 feet. At a price of $1.50 each is this Husky brand. The tie-downs are abrasion, crack, and sunlight resistant. We're going to test that. And the Husky is the heaviest yet at 136 grams. And the Husky is at 21.8 pounds at 6 inches and 34.6 at a foot. 51.2 pounds at 18 inches and 63 pounds at 2 feet which is the second most behind the Hallmaster. At a price of $36 for 20 straps or $1.80 each is this Keeper brand. Sunlight, ozone, and weather resistant. Non-brittle to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Zinc plated strong steel hooks will not bend, break, or rust. And a Keeper weighs 112 grams. And a Keeper delivers almost as much force as a Husky at 6 inches at 17.8 pounds. 26.2 at a foot and 34.2 pounds at 18 inches. And it's 43.6 pounds at 2 feet and it's dropping fast. At a price of $3 each is this Harbor Freight Hallmaster bungee cord. It has a spring gate hook that closes to secure the load. Durable UV resistant bungee cord jacket. Rust resistant aluminum. 64 grams for the Hallmaster. The Harbor Freight Hallmaster is at 6.4 pounds at 6 inches and 9.2 at a foot. 13.6 pounds at 18 inches and 28.2 at 2 feet. So plenty of stretch with the Hallmaster. At a price of $30 for 10 straps or $3 each is this amazing straps brand. It claims to offer 1.8 times the maximum stretch over its original length. Over 106 pounds of load. It claims to be made of 100% EPDM. The Amazing Straps weighs 128 grams. And the Amazing Straps have almost as much force as the Hallmaster EPDM at 27.8 pounds. 36 pounds at 12 inches. And it's 50.8 pounds at 18 inches and 71.2 at 2 feet. At a price of $14 for four straps or $3.50 each is this HDX brand. 
The HTX is sold at Home Depot. The core of each cord is made of high-grade, all-natural latex rubber. And the HTX is very light at 54 grams. The Home Depot HTX is at 6.4 pounds at 6 inches and 9 pounds at a foot. 11.2 pounds at 18 inches and 15.2 pounds at 2 feet. At a price of $4 each is this Night Ice brand. It claims to offer advanced weather protection. It claims to be a premium bungee with an integrated steel hook at each end. The hook maintains its hold with or without tension. The Night Eyes weighs 82 grams. And the Night Eyes is at 5.6 pounds at 6 inches and 8.2 pounds at a foot. 10.2 pounds at 18 inches and 13 pounds at 2 feet. At a price of $8 for two straps or $4 each is this Smart Straps brand. Super strong over molded steel hooks that won't stretch or bar. Double jacket cover for better wear resistance and UV protection. And it's 56 grams for the Smart Straps. And the Smart Straps are at 5.8 pounds at 6 inches. And the Smart Strap seems to be stretched to the limit at a foot at 14.6 pounds. And the jacket is stretched to the max. At a price of $16 for four straps or $4 each is this Sergeant Knott's brand. It claims to be a marine grade bungee cord. The Daycon polyester sheath ensures long lasting use under heavy friction in sunlight. And it's 84 grams for Sergeant Knott's. At six inches of stretch, the Sergeant Knott's is almost the same as the Smart Straps at 5.6 pounds. And it's 8.4 pounds at 12 inches. 10.6 pounds at 18 inches and 13 pounds at two feet. Looking at just the EPDM straps at 12 inches of stretch, the Harbor Freight Hallmaster offers the most force at 40.8 pounds. However, the amazing straps and the Husky offer more range and they aren't too far behind. Comparing just the regular bungee cords, the Smart Straps offers the most force at 12 inches at 14.6 pounds, but the Cartman and the Rhino USA offer just about as much force. Let's go ahead and kick off the long-term UV exposure test. I'll take the actual length of each brand of bungee cord and then I'll stretch it 12 inches. I'll place the bungee cords out in direct sunlight for about 9 months and we'll see how they hold up. We'll come back to this later in the video. And the bungee cords have had right at 9 months of UV exposure and it's definitely time to stop the test. Unfortunately, some of the bungee cords have already broken. Let's take a closer look and then do some testing on the bungee cords. <laughs> Unfortunately, the horse D did not age well and it's completely disintegrated from UV exposure during the nine month test. And the Hyper Tough is still in one piece, but the outer jacket is badly faded. And the Hyper Tough is no longer Hyper Tough after experiencing a permanent stretch of about 11 inches. When the Hyper Tough was new and stretched to 12 inches, it offered 6.8 pounds of force. Now it's at 1.2 pounds. At 18 inches when new, the Hyper Tough was at 18.2 pounds and now the Hyper Tough just went to zero. And the Cartman is badly faded, but is still in one piece. The Cartman definitely held up better than the Hyper Tough. The hook on the Cartman started off at 12 inches from the anchor point, and now it's only 3 inches from the hook. So that's about 9 inches of permanent stretch. At 12 inches of stretch, the Cartman was at 13 pounds when new. And now it's down to only 4 pounds. At 18 inches, the Cartman's at 6.4 pounds and it's about to break. Unfortunately, the Cartman couldn't quite make it to 2 feet of stretch before breaking. Unfortunately, the Harbor Freight Hallmaster didn't survive the test and the rubber has very large cracks. It's in pretty bad shape for only 9 months of weather exposure. The Stalwart started off bright red in color and it's badly faded and it did not survive the test. The Stalwart is in very bad shape and the rubber has degraded and breaks when stretched. And the Rhino USA seems to be in the best shape of all the brands yet and still has plenty of tension. And the Rhino USA experienced close to 7 inches of stretch. At 12 inches of stretch when new, the Rhino USA was at 11.4 pounds and now it's at 6 and is very close to breaking. Unfortunately, 9 months of UV exposure was just too much for the X-Strap and it didn't survive. Instead of having large cracks like the Hallmaster, the X-Strap has a bunch of smaller cracks. And the Husky is the first EPDM bungee cord to survive the 9 month UV test and it still seems to have decent strength. The Husky is at 6.5 inches from the anchor point. So it experienced about 5.5 inches of permanent stretch. Just like the X-Strap, the Husky has a lot of smaller cracks in the rubber. The new Husky had 26.2 pounds of force at a foot, and the weather-exposed cord is about half of that at 14.4 pounds. And the Husky is still performing very well at 18 inches of stretch at 23.6 pounds. At 24 inches of stretch, the Husky stayed in one piece at 34.4 pounds. That's about half the original strength. Unfortunately, the Keeper didn't survive the test. The Keeper experienced a lot of very small cracks in the rubber. Definitely not well designed for UV exposure. The Harbor Freight Hallmaster still has plenty of elasticity. It did experience quite a bit of fading and close to 5 inches of stretch. At 12 inches of stretch when new, the Hallmaster was at 9.2 pounds. It still has pretty good strength at 6.2. And the Hallmaster is at 13.6 pounds at 18 inches. Unfortunately, the Hallmaster gave up before making it to 24 inches. And the Amazing Strap survived the test and seems to have plenty of strength. The hook is about 5 inches from the anchor point or about 7 inches of stretch. And the Amazing Straps held up very well with no visible cracks in the rubber on either side of the strap. Very impressive! At 12 inches of stretch when it was new, the Amazing Straps was at 36 pounds. And it's now at 24 pounds, the best yet. 
At 18 inches, the Amazing Straps is at 44 pounds, the best yet. And the Amazing Straps is at 64 pounds at 24 inches. Very impressive. And the Home Depot HDX survived the test and experienced the least amount of color fade so far. After nine months of work, the HDX only grew by about three inches, the best yet. At 12 inches of stretch when it was new, the Home Depot HDX started out at 8.2 pounds and is now at five. The HDX is at 6.6 .6 pounds at 18 inches of stretch and nine pounds at two feet. And the Night Eyes experienced a little more fading than the HDX, but is still in better shape than most of the other brands brands with 4.5 inches of stretch. At 12 inches of stretch, the new Night Eyes was at 8.2 pounds and is now at 4.4 or about half the original strength. And the Night Eyes is at 7.2 pounds at 18 inches and 13.2 at 24 inches. And the Smart Strap still seems to have plenty of holding strength and it did experience some color fading. About 3 inches of stretch which is very close to the same as the HDX. And the Smart Straps doesn't offer nearly as much range of motion as the other brands and it's maxed out at 12 inches at 16.4 pounds or about 2 pounds more than new. So the outer jacket must have experienced quite a bit of shrinkage. And Sergeant Knotts appears to be in very good condition, about 4 inches of stretch after 9 months. And Sergeant Knotts performed well in the UV test, dropping from 8.4 pounds to 6 at 12 inches of stretch. 8.2 pounds at 18 inches and 9.8 at 2 feet is pretty good performance. So after 9 months of UV exposure, the top EPDM strap is the Amazing Straps with 33.3% loss in holding force. And the Smart Straps came out on top for the regular straps. Sergeant Knotts also performed very well at only 28.6% loss in holding force. At 24 inches of stretch, the Amazing Straps once again did the best for the solid rubber straps, only losing 10.1% of its strength. The jacket on the Night Eyes was really providing a lot of support, and the Night Eyes didn't experience any loss in holding force at 24 inches. Once again, the Sergeant Knots performed very well with a 24.6% loss in holding force. Let's stretch out new bungee cords once again and see how much holding force is lost after 24 hours. The straps have been stretched 12 inches for the past 24 hours. And the horse key is down from 5.8 pounds to 4.6 after 24 hours. And the hypertuff dropped from 6.8 pounds to only 3. The Cartman is now at 7.4 pounds, down from 13. And the Hallmaster dropped by about half to 20 pounds. And the Stalwart performed well, dropping from 6 pounds to 4.6. And the Rhino USA dropped from 11.4 pounds to 7. The X-Trap also performed well, dropping from 21.2 to 14.2 pounds. The Husky performed even better, dropping 20% to 27.8 pounds. And the keeper strap only dropped 8.4% to 24 pounds. And the Hallmaster dropped from 9.2 to 6.2 pounds. The Amazing Straps continues to perform well at 24.4 pounds. And the HDX only dropped 11% to 8 pounds. Very impressive. And the Night Eyes also performed well, only dropping 17% to 6.8 pounds. The Smart Straps dropped from 14.6 to 6.4 pounds. And Sergeant Knotts performed well at 6.2 pounds. After 24 hours of being stretched 12 inches, the Husky has the most holding force at 27.8 pounds but the Amazing Straps and Keeper aren't too far behind. For the regular bungee cords, the HDX came out on top at 8 pounds. The Cartman and the Rhino USA also performed very well. Another way to view performance is based upon the percentage of performance loss after 24 hours. And the Keeper came out on top, only losing 8.4% of holding force after 24 hours. For the regular bungee cords, the Home Depot HDX came out on top at 11.1%. Night Eyes finished in second at 17.1%. Let's place the bungee cords that were just tested back onto the stretch board. Let's spray them down with brake parts cleaner to test them for chemical resistance. We'll let the brake parts cleaner evaporate overnight and check back on this in about 12 hours. It's been 12 hours, so let's see how each of the brands performs. And the Horsdy remained the same at 4.6 pounds. The Hypertuff dropped from 3 pounds to 2.8. And the Carbon dropped from 7.4 to 7 pounds. And the Hallmaster is down by 1 pound. The Stalwart dropped from 4.6 to 4.4 pounds. And the Rhino USA dropped from 7 to 6.2. And the X-Trap lost 2 pounds to 12.2. And the Husky lost less than 1 pound to 27.2. And the Keeper lost just over 2 pounds. The Hallmaster dropped from 6.2 to 5.8 pounds. Amazing Straps had very little change from 24.4 to 24.2. No change for the HDX at 8 pounds. The Night Eyes dropped from 6.8 to 6 pounds. Smart Straps dropped from 6.4 to 5.8 pounds. Sergeant Knotts dropped from 6.2 to 5.8 pounds. So which brand is the best? A broken strap is a big deal, so I counted a broken strap as a 5th place finish. So looking at just the EPDM straps, the the Amazing Straps came out on top with an average finish of 1.6. The Husky also performed well with an average finish of 2.1, but the Husky did experience a lot of damage from UV exposure. On the other hand, the Amazing Straps did not. Unfortunately, the Harbor Freight Hallmaster, Keeper, and X-Strap all broke before the 9-month UV exposure test was finished. Home Depot's HDX came out on top with an average finish of 3.4. However, the Smart Straps brand finished in a very close second at 3.6. Sergeant Knotts also performed well with an average finish of 4th place. I'm really impressed with how well the Amazing Straps held up from the UV exposure.
I'm also very impressed with HDX as well as Sergeant Knots. Please let me know if you'd like to see more bungee cord brands tested. Also, all the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.